G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now Microsoft Loop, the collaborative canvas that allows you to create and think and plan all together collaboratively in real time uh, is in public preview. Now there are so many different types of Loop components that we can make use of today inside of different applications. Now one of those applications is Microsoft Word. Now Microsoft Word allows us to insert a Loop component called a poll or is it really a loop component? That's what we're going to take a look at right now in this video. So we can see here in uh, this Word document, I have embedded what we think is a loop component into this Word document. So to do that, we click inside the document, we go to the Insert tab, and under Loop Components, We've actually only got three components that we can utilize at the moment at the time of this recording inside of Microsoft Word. Now, one of those is a poll. So when we click on poll, it looks like we're inserting a loop component into the page. We've got the loop icon in the top left. We can copy the component and then we can also then create our, um, our, um, our poll here. So we give the poll a title. Um, is this really a loop component? And then we can give our options. Yes, no, maybe. Now this look might look familiar to you. It's very, very similar to Microsoft Forms. In actual fact, it is Microsoft Forms, okay? So we're going to add all, and then we can add options. We can have multiple selections. We can choose from different types of polls here. So you can see quiz, word cloud, rating, or ranking. We can preview this. Now, when we hit preview, you'll see that it actually does look like Microsoft Forms. Now, when we copy this link, let's have a look and see what happens. Now, what usually happens with a loop component is that when you copy the component itself and you paste it somewhere like a Teams chat or an email or something like that, it renders that component inside of that application. So let's have a look and see what happens. So I'm gonna jump into uh, Outlook here and I'm going to um, create a new email, we'll send it to Adele and we'll paste that in. Now, what we can see there and what you will uh, see is that the URL is actually forms.office.com. So that loop component of the poll loop component that we've just inserted is actually a Microsoft form. And then if we jump up into Microsoft forms here, let me just give this a little bit of a refresh. We can see that we actually have created a Microsoft form that seems to be a loop component inside of our Word document, all right? So that this component here isn't something that we can extract from the Word document and then um, and, and then take it to another endpoint and application and have it render inside of that. It's actually a Microsoft form. So we can send the form itself uh, to somebody to then fill out and uh, act on if we need to. So just a little bit of a nuance there when we're looking at uh, Microsoft Loop and the poll component of Microsoft Loop inside of Word Online. So I hope that brings you some value. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.